which one is it are you tired of wearing wigs or do you hate your hair hello lovely people it's joanne how is everyone doing today so today we're gonna get right into it i'm not gonna mix my words i don't think doja cat likes her hair i think she hates her hair okay I have actually spoken about Doja Cat and her relationship with her hair before. And if you guys have not seen it before, I will link the video here or here. I think you should watch that one first before you watch this actually, but like make sure you come back. If you guys don't know, Doja Cat has shaved her head bald, not just her head, but she shaved her eyebrows as well. It's all gone. And I think she's actually rocking the bald head look. She has a very nicely shaped head. I think she's doing really nice creative things with her eyebrows. I really like it. I think it suits her aesthetic. She just has that kind of face that can actually carry or pull off a bald head. So yeah, I think she looks actually pretty good. But we're not really discussing whether she looks good or not. It's, you know, the reasoning behind she's done all this theatrical stuff about shaving her head. Cause you know, sis could have just gotten her head shaved and just gone out and you know, not, not made it a thing. She decided to broadcast it and you know, get kind of weird with it. If you guys are not aware, Doja Cat is half black. She's half South African, half Jewish. And she has hair like most fully black girls, which is 4C hair. So if you guys aren't aware of the hair spectrum, it goes from, I believe type one to type four ABC. So there's type one, type two ABC, three ABC, four ABC. So four C would be the most uh, kinkiest, curliest, you know, like scrunched up kind of hair. Scrunched up? You know what I mean? Like my kind of hair, but <laughs> obviously you should blow dry. Most mixed race people, if we're being honest, tend to have looser curls than fully black people. So like that's around type three kind of hair. And if it is type four, it tends to be, you know, 4A. Doja Cat was blessed with 4C hair. I'm not gonna say cursed, I'm gonna say blessed because our hair is a blessing and not a curse. Just from things that I've heard and you know, things that I've watched, I don't think she ever learned to do or appreciate her hair. 4C is, 4C could suck my ass, is what 4C could do. 4C could, I thought I heard my boyfriend. 4C could bend over and lick my ass. Good luck trying to finger comb it. Good luck trying to put a wide tooth through it the first couple of minutes. Jesus Christ. Why even God was like, let me give this 4C hair just so that she could go bald. You know what I mean? My falls out. But I never actually look bald. Maybe because it's thick, it seems like a lot of hair is coming out. But when I take when I take my like, when I comb and take out my braids, brush, 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 so much hair. Curly hair could suck my dick. Ha, ha, ha. I hate this bro. It's not fun. I'll leave my hair. There's probably a one inch layer thick of residue, buildup, oil all on my scalp. I'm the nasty bitch. I'm a nasty bitch. Like, I don't touch my hair. Bitch, I love it, but what the is there to love about my scalp feeling like it's on fire all the time after I take my braids out? Right now, it is very trendy and it is very acceptable to have falsy hair, but Certainly when I was growing up, I believe me and Doja Cat, we are the same age. So yeah, the time when I was growing up, it was not cool. It was not the thing to have 4C hair. It was just not it at all. It was seen as very difficult hair, seen as very ugly hair, very nappy. Like just every negative word you can put towards 4C hair was given to our hair. You did not see adverts with our hair. We did not have products for our hair targeted to us um, that worked for our hair. Like. You know, we were just really outcasts of the hair community. Like just no one knew how to, how to do our hair. Like I grew up very much having to learn how to love my hair. I had to learn how to care for my hair myself through YouTube. Luckily I have older sisters that were able to do my hair for me um, until I had to learn myself. So yeah, my hair journey has definitely been very um, painful, has been a lot of hard work and you know, I'm very happy with the place that I am with my hair and, you know, the, the love that I have for my hair was certainly not something that came about easy. I had to really work for it and, you know, educate myself about the history of our hair and, you know, all that sort of stuff. 
relating to propaganda, marketing and all that kind of stuff. So that's the work that I put in for myself and that's me coming from a fully black family, having black friends and family and you know, just people that look like me. Who's to say if I was from a mixed background, if I had particularly a white mother, if I wasn't around a lot of black people, you know, I, I no, even I think I definitely would have had a different experience. Absolutely. I don't condemn Doji Cat for hating her hair. I do not condemn her at all. I think that's what some people kind of misconstrued in my last video. I'm not judging her for the way she talks about her hair. I don't like when other people get encouraged to talk badly about their hair because of her. That's different. She is a product of her environment, of her upbringing. Um, so I don't blame her for how she feels about her hair. I think it's sad. I think it's unfortunate, but I don't condemn her for it. Fair enough then the internet does exist there are um, natural hair salons there are a lot of resources that I wish I had when I was little that we have now so you know as an adult she can have access to these kind of things but you know it's a lot of ingrained beliefs that is a lot to unpick it's not easy um, and everyone's on their own journey everyone's at their own pace um maybe at some point in the future she might learn to appreciate or respect her hair but for now this is where she's at so there's that so she decided to do what we call a big chop do i think she was having a mental breakdown that's not for me to say i'm not a mental health professional i'm not a psychiatrist um i think everyone thinks back to britney spears and her um episode of that i'm not buying her explanation she gave an explanation about why she shaved her head about she just doesn't she feels like she wasn't born to have hair um going to the gym and wearing like wigs um it was very annoying like i have experienced that as well like going to the gym with a wig on it's like it's not cute it is a bit frustrating i don't actually wear wigs that you have to glue down to, like the sole reason is too much too much work too much work i feel like I, I was never supposed to have hair anyway i like don't like having hair i never liked having hair i cannot tell you one time since the beginning of my life that i've ever been like this is cool i just do not like to have hair um i remember feeling so just exhausted with like working out like whenever I went to go like train I had like a trainer at one point and I'd be wearing wigs and they would be like getting like tacky they'd like re-tack because of the moisture and then they'd start sliding and peeling off of my head while I'm like in this like doing this incredibly strenuous thing and be working out but like I couldn't focus because I was more concerned with how I looked and how my hair was doing and like how to keep it uh, adhered to my to my scalp and then like it would slide off and then I'd put on a beanie there was times where like I'd put a beanie on top of my wig that's on top of a wig cap that's on top of braids and I just can't believe that it took me this long to be like shave your fucking head because first of all I don't wear my hair out you guys have seen me wear my natural hair out I had like two eras I had like two eras where my hair would be out I like would straighten it the only time I ever, I mean, there was, a, there was a moment where it was natural and then I don't even wear it natural because I don't feel like it. And then it's just like, it's just a fucking nightmare, dude. I'm over it. But I'm not buying it. I don't believe her reason is like, you know, yeah, the gym wearing wigs and stuff. I absolutely believe if her hair was a looser texture, I don't think she um, would have shaved her head. Sweetie is someone I can give an example. She is half, um, I believe, Filipino and half... Uh, black and she also shaved her hair off but I don't did it I don't think she did it in such a negative way a lot of people will share that shave their head for various reasons that could be you know to let go of baggage I do believe you carry a lot of emotions and a lot of um trauma in your hair I don't know if there's science to that specifically but I do believe when a woman in a lot of cultures when uh your partner would die or your children would die they would um typically shave their heads as a sign of mourning or a sign of rebirth or a sign of new possibilities in their, in their life. I never see Doji Cat wearing hair extensions that are similar to her hair type at all, ever. I genuinely think she really hates her hair. I mean, she said herself, God, you know, gave her this cursed hair or something to that effect. I really do think it's sad that she just feels this way about her hair. Her hair is actually beautiful. Um, there are a few pictures around with, with her natural hair and I think she looks amazing. I think she looks great. Again, with her shaved head, she really does pull it off. Um, I don't know. I just, 
Doja Cat's a funny one. I'm interested to see where she goes from here, what her aesthetic would be, because, you know, seeing in the past, she's worn a lot of wigs, a lot of extensions. And I don't think she's being honest with herself, let alone her fans. So um, this is a very quick video. I didn't really have that much to say. I feel like I very much covered the bulk of what I wanted to say in my previous video pertaining to Doja Cat and her hair. I think it's the most freeing thing to finally love your hair, like 4C hair. I just think there's so much power in reclaiming that love and that appreciation. And like, you know, I genuinely love doing my hair. Of course, there are times where I just like everyone feels that way whatever hair type you have you just can't be bothered like I do love and appreciate extensions I love to wear wigs now and then like I just love experimenting and playing around with things a lot of the times I feel like just shaving off not doing anything um itchy nose but anyway that's all I have for today I'm very interested to know your thoughts particularly if you um have 4c hair or if you don't have 4c hair if you're on the outside of this and you don't particularly understand the struggles that come with 4c hair um i'm interested to know your thoughts you know the hair industry wouldn't be what it is if it was just her a very lucrative business make sure you're subscribed to my channel have a great day guys and i'll see you in the next one